Hey guys, welcome to another video review. Today I've just uh, opened up the browser and as you can see today we are going to test uh, Sandboxy which is a piece of software. It's uh, something different from what I've been testing. It's a software just that's just a sandbox software for your browser. So basically how this works is you can see their diagram here all the programs that you download without Sandboxy they just go straight through and they do whatever changes that they want to do to your computer but if you have got Sandboxy installed they're not gonna able gonna be able to do any permanent changes or any harmful activities on your computer so they are still going to run they might execute just fine but they won't be allowed to do any harmful operations. So that's that's basically what Sandboxy is. Now you can download it and basically I think it's, uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's kind of like a trial because if you want to register it, you can buy it. It costs 29 euros and basically this is not an antivirus program it doesn't do anything else it just sandboxes everything so we'll see how good this is because it's pretty popular in the sandbox department so we'll see how this does now before that I'd just like to give you guys a little bit of uh, bad news here in fact uh, my major source of malware that was virus sign from where I used to get my files has uh, reduced their download limits to basically something that it's almost impossible for me to download their virus samples so I may have some trouble getting some of the reviews done like I'm not sure I was planning to do a review on Afura but I've postponed that because I don't want to skip the file scan I could always do a prevention test without any problem but I'd still like to do the file one so I'm looking for some alternative solutions so till then I think this should be a good review so this is basically how Sandboxy looks as their control center and here you can terminate and disable forced programs you can terminate all the programs running in the sandbox and you can change of course the way that their sandbox works this is basically okay I'm not gonna mess with that of course Uh, let's see if they've got any easy settings for us uh, it doesn't look that way yeah so it's it hasn't got a lot of stuff to mess about but it's pretty simple you can terminate your programs whenever you want and you it also has an option for you to run a program within their sandbox even if it's not downloaded from the internet so basically what this does is it it replaces your browser as you can see we have a icon on our desktop that says sandboxed web browser so if we double click on that basically you know there you go again internet explorer opens up but how do you know that it's sandboxed is basically it's got two hash, hashes here and you can see the flashing yellow light so today I'm sorry I haven't got any malware samples or I haven't got any links we'll just have to try out Cleanamax and hopefully they've got some good stuff let's wait for it to load up here okay so uh, basically we'll just be looking for executable files because remember sandbox is only a sandbox it's not a web blocking suite or anything like that so anything other than executables is not gonna be blocked so let's get in the filters here because I don't want to waste a lot of time searching for executables
Cleanamax always takes uh, quite a lot of time to respond. Okay, so now we'll run some of these files and we will just try to infect the computer and we'll see if uh, Sandboxy protects us from that. So basically the detection rate makes no sense because it's not a signature based blocking thing. So let's try as much harmful stuff as we can. Come on. Okay, so let's start off with this uh, Trojan. Browser is having some problems right now. It's uh, not responding. Hopefully, that's not because of Sandboxy. Okay, just give me a minute here. Okay, so first off, we've got this Trojan. We'll try running in the Sandbox. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so that one ran. And we've got some adware. Let's try it out. Let's see if it can make any changes to our browser while it's in the sandbox. Okay, let's uh, try out this one. It's another Trojan. Okay, so that one was dead. Okay, as you can see, it's a piece of adware. There you go, this adware or spyware or whatever that is is being installed. Let's see if it succeeds. So meanwhile let's try out some of the other stuff. We've got a PUP here. And we have got another PUP. Let's try out something else. Maybe something that appears more dangerous. Something like Trojans. Just PUPs, uh, just change browser settings and stuff. And we want basically, okay, so that one was a RAR file. Now, okay, it's not even ex executable, so that's uh, nothing that Sandboxy can do about it. Let's see if uh, this one was able to mess up with the system here make any registry modifications okay it was able to open up the browser that's for sure okay let's try this one okay this is another you know raw file Hmm, let's see what happens if I try to run it from the RAR file. Okay, it crashes. Might be because Sandbox is blocking it or something. Anyway, let's just get back to our homepage here and we'll try something from Malware Blacklist. Because I don't think we had any real stuff running because, you know, we had some small things like PUPs and stuff. Okay, now something is asking me 
for administrator privileges. Now that's also the message that Windows gives. So I'm not gonna block it or anything in that. I'm gonna allow it straight through. Sandboxy should be able to block only the harmful operations. Okay, let's try run this. Okay, this is some kind of uh, patch or something, some illegal software, so just going to quit that because it's not going to do anything to the system. It's uh, just some private stuff and illegal, so that's why it got caught. And Sandboxy doesn't have anything against that, so I'm not going to try that. Let's run a few more executables here and see if they're able to Okay, that one was dead. Let's try out some other executables if we can find them. Let's try out a zip file. Let's see if it it can actually block executables inside zip files because I'm not sure about that but maybe it can because it's gonna you know sandbox winrar while that's opening this hopefully and then maybe it's gonna block this I'm not so sure but I'm hoping that's kind of like what will happen and I think that's exactly what happened there Okay, this one's a JavaScript. Let's see if the exploit is about is able to run, but it didn't run, it failed. Let's try one more of the exploits. Most of them fail anyway, so it's not a big deal. Let's try one more executable. This one looks like a typical Trojan. Okay, it looks like they're all the same files. That's pretty strange. Okay, so this is uh, a fake banker. Let's see if we can close this. In fact, we can because it was in sandboxy and let. Other than that, if it was not in Sandboxy, we would not have been able to close that window so easily. But let's see, it's, it dropped a file and that file can still run. But it looks like it's not able to block the screen. Because I'm pretty sure this thing blocks the screen, I mean, it doesn't get off. Okay, there's another piece of hardware. Let's see if it can do any real damage. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not supposed to block adware, so I'm going to cancel that. So far, I mean, the system's pretty stable, but we'll find out if it allowed any files to get by and drop some things in the background or make any system changes. In fact, I think if I open up their control panel, uh, you'll see what is running. There you go, you can see that a lot of stuff is running here. Uh, this is the valid file.
okay that I got rid of that one now these are all the things that are running in the sandbox there you go you can see one of those trojans in there but basically from what I think they're not being allowed to do anything because I'm not seeing any mischief so let's take a look at you know I I'm not exactly used to sandboxy so I'm not sure how exactly okay so that so I close that. Now I'm just gonna run CCleaner here. Now first I'm gonna reboot just to get rid of everything and then I'm gonna run CCleaner or let's just use Sandboxy here. Oops. Okay so I think they have an option terminate all. Yep. So that gets rid of that and now I'm just gonna run CCleaner and then I'll just uh, do a scan with Malwarebytes and I'll be right back okay welcome back everybody Malwarebytes just found one infected object here and there you go that is the spyware banker that we have right on our desktop but as you can see if we try to open it it's uh, not gonna be able to do much there you go it opens up of course uh, it can still steal your information if you put it in here and you have to be I'm telling you you have to be incredibly stupid to do something like that but anyway uh, you can still close it so it's not able to do what is meant to do it's supposed to get stuck on your screen but anyway it's uh, an infection is an infection so I'll just remove that I'm not gonna reboot and now we'll just uh, run a scan with Hitman Pro so I'll be right back okay so as you can see Hitman Pro did not find anything at all so Sandboxy did do a fairly good job I mean we tried a lot of stuff we tried some adware spyware all of that junk and nothing has left trace which is good to see so I mean final thoughts and sandbox you know personally I do not like the idea of just depending on a sandbox for protection and I'm telling you some of the problems that you might face if you use something like this first of all let's say you download a driver for your system through the web and uh, uh, let's say it gets sandboxed and then it may not run and your system may crash now things like these might happen I'm not saying they will happen but there is a slight chance that stuff like this can actually happen so I know you know sandbox is great uh, when it, it you just sandbox limited files but just sandboxing everything may not be that smart an idea for me I mean that's just my personal opinion but as we saw it did very well in fact it blocked everything so I mean for an experienced user I don't think that's the best solution but in case you're just totally inexperienced and or you've got someone who is not that experienced and they don't know what to download what not to download they have no idea about which file is good and what is bad then I think this might be a really good uh, solution for you so hope you enjoyed this quick little review I'll be trying to come up with some more tests and reviews hopefully I'll get some more malware samples or anyway I'll just do some prevention tests maybe in the near future so hope you all look forward to it so hope you enjoyed this review have a good day